we're excited with where we're at. We're excited where we're going. Uh, we both know what that looks like. And when that day comes, we will be right here having a conversation with you talking all about it. <laughs> um, obviously, you guys have been dating for a number of years now. And, you know, I'm sure you get the questions all the time. But do you feel pressure to take your relationship to that next step? Or are you guys just kind of happy where you are and taking it day by day? Yeah, you know, it is. It's funny that the next step question has been one that we have been asked since day one of us dating I and know. you know look, you know looking back on that uh it's it's exciting that you know there's excitement around it but i think at the end of the, at the end of the day there's there's no like everyone no matter how, which way you answer that question uh, you know people want to like they want to see the next step so at this point there's no no there's nothing i've answered this question every which way i don't think there's a, a way that i can answer it anymore but we are um we're excited with where we're at. We're excited where we're going. Uh, we both know what that looks like. And when that day comes, we will be right here having a conversation with you talking all about it. I can't wait. <laughs> I, mean, is it, I mean, is it ever hard though, being in a public relationship when people are so invested in your romance? And how do you guys deal with that? Because even like a couple of weeks ago, she took a picture in front of a wall that said single and people could just keep speculating. So it's gotta be hard, the constant pressure and people so invested in your in your relationship it's rewarding that that people are investing it is uh in our relationship it has been such uh, an interesting component that again i've never had to deal with uh and caitlin's been in this situation longer the, the whole public's eye so it's uh sometimes it's overwhelming um but at the same time it, you just balance it and so like that scenario exactly she posted the picture and it said you know single af in the background and after, like, she recognized it immediately because the comments were pouring in, like, what, are you single? No, no. And then she's like, oh, my gosh. And so she addressed it immediately. Mm -hmm. And then once the dust settled, like, those are the conversations you have when you're offline. Like, what was it? Like, Kate, did you not see that? <laughs> and she's like, I get, like, with all my heart, I did not see that. And those things happen. So I think when you're, when you do, when you are in a, in a public relationship, um, having those conversations and being able to communicate offline is is just so critically imperative. Totally. I mean, when was there like a moment in your relationship that you knew, all right, Caitlin is the one she, I want to commit to this. I, I like, was there something that she did or was there a moment that you recall in your relationship? You're like, oh my God, this girl is the real deal. Yeah, I just remember when uh, like our one of our first dates at Howl at the Moon, um, like the night started off like a like a little slower. I think like the, the nerves were still so high, and then we were at Howl at the Moon and we were just dancing and singing, and it was just carefree, and uh, it was just one of those moments that like I'll personally never forget. For me, I'm like this, uh, you know, okay, she's got it all. She's uh, she's beautiful. She's fun. She's easy going. She has a big heart. Um, she's, and I got to see at that time also her relationship with some of her closest of friends and uh, it was, it was a, a beautiful memory that I won't forget.